Welcome to this lesson on how to create your first program for your VEX IQ robot using Graphical Robot C. And don't forget, the difference between engineering and just messing around is documenting what you are doing. So do not forget to write things down. This lesson is intended to be used with the VEX IQ standard drive base, which can be assembled by completing steps 1 through 19 from the Clawbot IQ build directions, which came with your kit. The programming language we'll be using is Graphical Robot C for VEX Robotics, which can be downloaded from the VEX Robotics website. Once you have the program installed, double click on the desktop shortcut or go to your programs menu. Let's get started. After the flash screen goes away, click on the new file button. First, we need to let the program know which type of mode and robot system you'll be using, so click on the robot tab on the main menu. Click on the side arrow beside the VEX IQ controller mode. And then click on autonomous, no controller required. The main difference between these two modes is the program will not run in teleop unless your controller is synced to the brain. Next, click on the side arrow beside the platform type and select VEX IQ. With any program for robots, it's important to set up the robot configuration so the program matches the inputs and the outputs on the robot brain. So click on the Motors and Sensors Setup button. Next, click on the selector triangle beside Clawbot IQ with sensors. Select the standard drive base and click on the motors tab. Be sure your left drive motor is plugged into smart port number one and your right drive motor is plugged into smart port number six on your brain. You can tell the sides of your robot by looking from the back of your robot to the front. This will orientate the right side on the right and the left side on the left. After you've checked this, you can click the OK button. Now look under the Simple Behavior side menu and click and drive the forward command onto the number one command line. This will move your robot one wheel rotation forward at 50% power. Yay, you've just written your first program. Now click on Compile Program button. Navigate to the location you want to save your program. Give your program a title which makes sense like Move Forward and click the Save button. Plug your VEX IQ USB cable into your computer and into the VEX IQ brain and make sure the brain is on. Next, click on the Download to Robot button. In order to run your program, be sure you have the Auto Programs highlighted. If not, press the down arrow button until it's highlighted. Then, press the checkbox button. When you see the Move Forward program highlighted on the screen, Press the check mark button and your program will begin. Now comes the fun part. You can play around and experiment. You can change the number of rotations to something like 2.5. You can change the percent power to a number between 20 and 100. You can even try numbers between 1 and 19 percent, but your robot may not have enough power to overcome the friction in your drivetrain and it won't move. You can click on the selector triangle and try the different units. Be careful of using the minutes unit. A minute in robot time is a long, long time. You can play with the other simple behaviors like backwards, turn left, turn right, 
The Move Motor command is used to move a single motor like an arm or a claw, so you won't normally use it with a drive base. All you need to do to use these commands is drag the command over onto the program line number and edit the values and the units. Next, you can download your program and test it out. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of competitions and instructions there. Until next time, remember, in order to move forward, it's good for you to have a program.